Question, who knows what biorouting is? Who is using it? Fair. OK. <laughs> So what is it? Uh, a routing daemon and a library. So the intention is that it can be used as a library and a daemon, written in the Golang library. It's open source. Um, we founded it 2018, so it's not that young anymore. And by now we have 23 contributors and roughly 1,100 commits and counting. Um, and it's already used in some large networks. We'll see who this is. So some concepts, it's open source, it's uh, licensed under the Apache 2 license which gives some leeway and freedom to users. Um, focus is on performance and memory efficiency, we'll talk about that later. And as I said, uh, the usability as library which some folks do as uh, SDN, concentrate, uh, SDN um, controllers, route injectors and stuff like that. And eventually it should become a full featured routing daemon. Um, as, uh, well, we are not there yet, so the O is not implemented yet. We are working on the I and for B it's quite good. So um, given we are using Go, we have a type safe language and we have easy access to gRPC using protobuffers, which is quite nice and extensible. And we have native Prometheus integration because we want to know what our routing daemon is doing, right? Status quo. Um, on the left side, that stuff is in there for a while, so the usual suspects. Um, uh, Wolfgang yesterday talked about the BGP roles, which I stumbled across one or two months ago and found it useful, so I implemented it in some evenings, um, so it's in there. We added uh, MD5 support a while back. Um, we also have uh, adopted the eBGP deny filters, so you don't uh, will be shamed on Twitter and need to write blog posts, of course you leaked a full table. Um, and recently we added the option for pluggable adjacency ins by using a factory which can be nice if you want to do some fancy stuff with routes you received via BGP or BMP. Speaking of BMP, um, for a while we can do the BMP receiver so you can configure your routers to send BMP feeds to BIO which can then build the full view of your uh, routing table and can uh, serve as a RIS, a route information server, which can mirror it to other uh, RISs, for example, so, uh, which is used in some setups to see how the, the global routing table of your network looks like, we can do LPM matches against that, and uh, that is very useful for SDN controllers. Um, and with the pluggable adjacency rip in, that can only uh, also be used to send uh, updates and withdraws to somewhere else. Example to come. And recently we added also to uh, the um, option to follow the end of rip marker in BGP. So if you set up a BGP session, all the updates come in and then an empty message basically comes in saying, this is the end of my rip. Everything following now are really live updates which have been received. Um, BMP now is, al is uh, allowed to receive connections from any router. So if you want to set up a monitoring station for your network, for example, and don't want to configure the uh, update the configuration of BIO for every new box you add to your network, this is possible now. Um, we can track pre and post policy this configurable, and we can also ignore events from certain ASNs, for example, ourselves. We are working on um, adding support for BMP monitoring station, so a BGP speaker in BIO can send out updates to somewhere else. This is a little bit more complicated, but groundworks have been done. Um, ISIS, so the I in BIO um, is in the works too. That's mainly Oliver's work. Um, support for level two in ISIS is nearly done. The packet handling, so serialization, deserialization is complete, including a lot of tests. Um, the hello protocol to form up adjacencies is implemented. The synchronization between routers is basically there, but the only thing missing is um, the LSPs for ourselves to be sent out or the triggers for that. So it's nearly ready. Maybe it will be a Christmas gift as there is no Congress. So MISC stuff, um, it was interesting to store the route H, so simple stuff. Uh, global logging configuration, this was a PR which we are very thankful for. So we now have a global configuration for logging. So um, you can set up which log level you want, which will be adhered in every part of BIO. We did a lot of cleanups and unifications. So sorry for everyone who is using it as a library. Um, 
we have added since the last time we spoke about it a uh, CLI client which also uses the DRPC interface so just the regular interface we provide uh, which is currently read only but the intention will, uh, is that it will become read write. Uh, configuration file is there, uh, support is there and we increased the test coverage recently so we are more and more sure that this thing does what it should. So who is using it? Um, there have been past talks by Oliver at Dinoc uh, when he was at Exaring. So there are two projects in the works for the Exaring network as a CDN controller and for source routing, which has been presented at Dinoc 10. Um, Morph mail order software is using it, which is also open sourced by one of our co authors. And recently, we used, started using it at Cloudflare to replace an existing pipeline for BMP monitoring where we open sourced the um, BBMP part which puts stuff onto a Kafka stream which we uh, added the adjacency rip in pluggable uh, thing for. Which basically takes BGP updates on withdrawals and puts them into um, protobuf messages and puts them on a Kafka to be processed further by whatever pipeline you deem fit. So roadmap, um, I've said we want it to be fast and uh, scalable. Well, bummer, the data structures are nice from a software engineering standpoint, but from a, RAM, a memory usage standpoint, not so much. So that's something we need to work on if we want to process full tables or even multiples of that without eating uh, memory for breakfast. Um, as I said, BMP monitoring support, uh, station support, ISIS level one is looking good. Uh, level, uh, sorry, level 2 is looking good. Level 1 might be something to add uh, later. Uh, flow spec would be nice for OSPF. Uh, we have a PR open which we need to look into again for uh, OSPF v3 that is. And obviously a read write CLI tool would be nice. So something like bird C for example. Source code is as I said open source. We appreciate contributions and feedback and if you're using it please reach out let us know thank you max very interesting we have time for some questions so are well, there that's... questions here at the front stefan i'll hand you over my mic directly it's on. oh it's seven okay um there's another go bgp demon uh Yes. from Tokyo, uh, go BGP. Um, yes. Are there any plans maybe to, to put the project into one project? Or is it totally different? That would be my second question. If it's totally different, which, which, what, what do you better with your implementation? Um, to merge it, no, no plans. Um, at the time this was started, the Go BGP daemon used rather inefficient data structures, if I remember correctly. Um, I guess Oliver can tell better. He's nodding. Okay. So that was one of the reasons why we decided to build a new one. I believe they have worked on that. Um, so I guess we are working on diversity. And actually, as bio is BGP, ISIS, OSPF, we actually, uh, obviously have a broader range we want to address. Follow up and another follow up question. Um, would there be interest uh, in getting in contact with them? I could uh, officially invite you to Eurex uh, to the meeting so that you can discuss this. I didn't get the start of the question. I guess you are talking about route servers. Uh, sorry, I start again. Would you uh, would you be interested in, in in talking to the Go BGP people? Why not? We can all learn from that. So Stefan probably will introduce you to them. Um, are there other questions here in the audience or from the internet? No. The internet has no questions about BGP. Okay, the internet doesn't know about BGP, don't tell them. What is um, BGP? Then that's our chance to give uh, Max another warm thank you.